Okay, so Lab 06 is uh, Hello Diana, okay? So uh, Lab 06 is all about shared memory. Para saan ba yung shared memory? Okay. Uh, remember na yung ano natin, yung pro, uh, OS natin, meron siya in-enforce na uh, process isolation or at least a security feature na kung saan yung isang process uh, dapat hindi niya ma-access yung ano ma-access yung memory area ng isang uh, ng ibang process okay so remember na ang isang process ay meron siyang tinatawag ni na address space or process map memory map na tawag so halimbawa uh, yung isang uh, ko na naman siguro to sa memory virtualization so we can use the command pmap to uh, view the process address space sabihin ano yung virtual uh, memory address space na allocated sa process so ito yung command na to pmap help you see that okay. so as you can see this is the uh, memory map for virtual address space of process 1 one four three nine, which actually a an instance of the bash program. Makita niyo yung mapping, so ito yung starting ng address space niya. Okay. And sa lecture, pinapakita din natin yung iba't ibang uh, sections ng isang ng memory map ng address space. So nandyan yung uh, ito, malabang ito yung nandito yung ano yung code section, yung data section, tapos yung Makita nyo dito sa, isa, sa isang process map o sa address space, meron siyang mga tinatawag na ito mga uh, .so, okay? La, lib NSS, lib C, lib DL, at madami pang iba, okay? Yung mga .so, these are actually called uh, shared libraries, okay? So, sa isang operating system, may mga functions na commonly ginagamit ng mga processes so instead na mag allocate ka ng extra memory per process, pwede ilagay mo siya sa isang shared memory area at pwede siya naging part ng address space ng process. So nakakita nyo ngayon dyan, maraming mga, uh, ito yung bash process na to, marami siyang mga shared libraries na kinukol para mag-execute mag yung bash process. Then, so yung stack, makakita nyo yung stack dito. So sa, sa lecture, pinapakita lang yung, natin yung basic na components like the, the code, the data, the, uh, the stack, and the heap. Dito walang heap. Dito kasi wala tayong malok na ginagawa. So remember na magkakaroon lang siya ng heap pag meron siyang malok. So usually may mga, may mga anon dyan na ano, anon na area sa process address space na ano, na wala pang laman na usually pwedeng gamitin niyan later pag gumamit ka na ng malok. Okay, so yun yung mangyayari. So that is the address space. Now, by default, by default, ang isang process, yung ibang process, hindi niya, alam mo, may, may Firefox ako dito, di ba? Uh, tingnan natin yung ano, process ay, uh, process lock ng Firefox. Ito yung, ano, ito yung process address space, virtual address space ng Firefox. Ito yung total na memory na kinain niya. And ito yung laman. Ito yung mga nakamap dun sa process space or sa address space ng, ano, ng, ng Firefox. So mapasin na napakadami. Kasi marami siyang libraries na ginagamit. Okay? For simple processes, konti lang yung laman niya. But for a Firefox, which is a very big process, makikita mo na malaki yung memory na kinakain niya. And you see a lot of libraries na kasama dyan. And you have the stack here, probably may heap din siya or some other memory. Usually, meron siya lang ibang, ibang, ibang programs, ibang uh, sophisticated programs. They have, they implement their own memory management routines. So, sometimes hindi mo siya makakita dito kasi meron siya low-level na memory management routines. Okay? But you get the idea, I suppose. Okay? So, given these two processes, yung bash sa yung ano, uh, bash saka yung Firefox, paano natin sila pag-uusapin? So, is there, is there a possibility na pwede mo silang, ano, pwede mo silang pag-usapin by providing them a shared uh, memory uh, area or shared segment or shared pages depending on the the memory management technique being uh, implemented. Okay? So, now sa Linux, sa Unix, 
ang ang goal natin dito is inter-process communication. So remember, yung isang process, isolated siya. Pero there are instances na gusto yung pag-usapin, yung dalawang process. So kailangan meron kang channel. Ang um, naipakita na natin before na yung dalawang process ay pwedeng mag-usap usually pag na-spawn sila ng, ano, ng, ng isang parent process. Nalala nyo dun sa ano, sa sa fork exec na exercise natin, pag nag-fork ka, ng maraming beses, actually, pwede mong pag-usapin yung mga children, children nila, by mapping the, ano, the standard input, standard output, and uh, yung, yung redirection, kay yung pipes, pwede nga make it yun doon. Yun, yung mga processes na yun, meron silang, ano, meron silang parent-child relationship. Pero paano pag wala silang parent-child relationship? Paano mo sila pag-uusapin? It totally isolated nga sila, di ba? So, ito ngayon yung solution, yung shared memory. So, that's the, the goal of, uh, of this lab, to introduce you kung paano ba talaga, paano ba gumagana yung shared memory, and paano siya gamitin sa perspective ng programmer. Kung baga, uh, we're just using the uh, shared memory API. So, let's go to the exercise. So may tanong ba kayo at this point uh, na naintindihan niyo ba yung ano yung konsepto ng shared memory? Uh, basically for ano lang siya for interprocess communication na walang parent child relationship. Mga hindi ba kag anak. So paano natin diagalin 'yan? Sa shell, pwede tayong gumamit ng pipes. Uh, sa sa shell pwede tayong gumamit ng pipes kasi yung mga commands na nanaran sa shell they share a common ancestor yung yung shell process okay so okay so ito tayo sa ano sa lab na so let's go to the examples first so, very simple din lang naman actually yung ano yung lab na to okay uh, para ka rin gumagamit ng malloc kaso dito hindi ka gumagamit ng malloc remember na yung malloc yung uh, malloc is used to allocate memory di ba pero hindi siya uh, yung memory yung memory na ina-allocate ng malloc ay nilalagay sa heap which is part of the part of the process virtual address space kasama yun sa isolated environment okay. so dito ang idea dito is sa shared memory pwede yung mag-allocate ng memory outside your process address space pero pwede mo siyang i-link dun sa address space mo para magamit siya para magamit siya ng process so that's the idea so it's basically ano siya meron siyang parang client server component yung role nito is ganito yung server siya yung mag uh, recreate dun sa ng memory segment dun sa shared memory tapos yung client siya yung mag-access dun sa shared memory assuming na si server na-create niya na yung uh, memory region na yun Tapos may permissions na sinet yung server kung paano i-access yung shared memory segment na yun. So let's take a look at the source code first dun sa server.c. Anong ginagawa ng server.c is, uh, okay, so unlike sa malloc na magmamalloc ka lang tapos may, may parameter ka ng size, magkira siya ng pointer dun sa memory area sa feed. Dito sa ano, sa sa shared memory may isa two step process okay una mag-allocate ka dun sa shared memory area na minamanage ng library or ng operating system and then imamap mo siya dun sa atis so two step process dito sa ano dito sa server okay so try, you try to access the memory segment kung hindi pa siya nag kung hindi pa nag-exist yung uh, shared memory area na yon you need uh, may option ka, may flag ka para iset, sabihin mo na okay, i-create mo yan kasi hindi pa nag-exist so, we have this flag set here okay. so yun yung ibig sabihin lang and then this one will re uh, refer to the uh, permission okay so yun yung, ito yung parang equivalent ng malloc sabihin na natin, ito yung equivalent ng malloc okay, na pag hindi pa nag-create pag hindi pa nag-exist yung memory segment na yun, identified by this key which is just a constant okay. so parang ito yung handle mo dun sa sa, ano, sa, sa memory area na yun i-create mo siya na kung walang error 
Mag-return siya ng tinatawag na segment ID. So this one is, uh, ito, yung, shem, uh, yung key is user specified. Ay user specified siya. Pero yung uh, segment ID, ito ay uh, manage. Yung nare-return na to ay manage ng operating system. Pero hindi pa to yung pointer dun sa actual memory area. Okay. So, para ma ma-access ito as a part of the memory area, kailangan siya i-attach sa address space mo. Yeah? So, yun yung uh, idea. And para i-ma-attach mo siya dun sa address space nitong server process, you're going to use uh, shem app, okay? which is uh, shared memory attach. Kung saan ang parameter niya ay yung segment, and then you have the null, kung wala naman kasi, alam natin yan, makikita natin dito sa ano sa shared uh, sa segment ID yun ay yung reference natin dun sa shared memory area and then some uh, permission so she is inherit nila kung ano yung nandun sa segment ID so basta meron tayong valid na segment ID dun sa shared memory area okay na tayo we can use this attach and we now have shared memory and you will notice that the shared memory is equivalent to the uh, pointer uh, Yes, yun na yung gagamitin natin na pang reference dun sa memory area. Dun sa shared memory area. Sa shared memory region. So, ito na yung equivalent ng nare-return ng malok. Okay? So, that's the difference that you have to understand. No? So, two-step process dito. Get para i-check kung nag exist na yung memory segment. Kung, hindi, kung may IPC create, i-create niya. Okay? Tapos, once na-create na yan, you, you need to attach uh, that memory segment to this process address space using shen app. And from there, meron ka ng handle dun sa memory area na yun, and you can now uh, manipulate it like an ordinary pointer, the part ng iyong address space. Right? So yun yung kagandahan niya. So, dito, uh, ito nag-fail siya ng pag-attach. There are several reasons for this, but normally successful naman yan, so you just need to do some error checking. And this one here will populate the shared memory area. So, take note na di, itong equivalent ng malloc natin, so, halos nung po specify ng size na parameter sa malloc, pareho din lang dito. So, you specify how many elements, 10, multiplied by the size of, say, since you're storing integer, so size of int, so this is how you do it. And from there, you can now access the shared memory like this. So, you can manipulate it as a single dimensional array by putting in some values there. Now you get the idea? So, yan. Basically, ganun lang yun. And then, you have, uh, detach the memory. So, kailangan i-clean up yun. Ang may ilang pagkita kung paano, paano i-visualize. So, so, sorry, no. So, you have to detach the shared memory is equivalent to parang tatanggalin mo yung link. Okay? And then, yung actual na nag-free ng segment Shared memory segment is this one, okay? So, IPC RMID, ito yung command, control command, na isi-send mo dun sa shared memory manager para i-free, quote-unquote, ito yung free equivalent dun sa segment. Right? So, sa malloc, malloc free combination. Okay? It's part of API. Uh, sa memory API na na-exama din sa lecture. Okay, malino ba yun? So, this is the server. So, do you have at this point any question about the server, server side? Okay, good. So, let's look at the client side. So, the client side is actually a mirror image ng program ng server. Right? Kaso, dito, ang main difference lang actually dito is ina-assume niya Ina-assume niya na ano, mag exist na yung segment. Kaya wala na tayong parameter dito na IPC underscore create. Okay? So that is the main difference. So the same process. We try to get the shared memory segment using the key that we set here. And then kung successful siya, we attach it to our process, process address space, a virtual address space, and then our process map, and then 
kung hindi natin na siya ma-attach, ito yung gagawin natin. And we perform the read. Okay? We perform the read on the on the shared memory area. Okay? Hindi na ba yan? Okay, so i-demonstrate natin kung paano natin i-test ito. Pero before natin uh, uh, i-test to, kasi ang mangyayari dito, kailangan paghihintayin mo yung ano, uh, notice na dito sa example ng server, yung number na ay may sleep siya. So, 20 seconds sleep para hihintayin niya na yung client na mag-read dun sa shared memory before siya mag-perform ng clean up. Okay? But to... Uh, to prevent this from uh, relying control dito eh. So what we do is to simply uh, put a message Let's say run program B now okay, and then we simply get a character press any to continue okay. So given this uh, modification, uh, we can now test the code. Okay. So GCC SO server dot elf server dot C. Client dot elf. Client.c Okay So Ang gawin natin Maganta Iran natin yung server This is what we get So it's just run Mag-block siya Okay Waiting for the For the input And then This is the output Of the Of Binasa niya Okay Then when you When you press this I-clean up na siya Okay Bagay mo ba yun? Okay So Misan mahirap i-visualize ito, no? Pa paano ito makikita itong uh, yung behavior niya. Okay. So, we actually have a command in Linux uh, it's called IPCS. Okay. So, show information on IPC facilities. So, yung shared memory, as I mentioned, is part of an inter-process communication facility. So, we have mga processes na gustong usap-usap and itong command na papakita niya kung ano yung mga uh, uh, existing na IPC mechanisms. So nakikita niyo dito mayroong I, I, ito, ito, uh, shared mem. Okay. So we can use this to view uh, yung state ng system, ng shared memory. So let's try this. So, uh, vertically. So pag kailan mo yung server. Okay. So, sabi natin yung server, siya yung nag-create ng shared memory segments. Okay? So, before that, i-ano mo na i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-
permission na sinet dun sa IPC create which is 6666. Diba? So, yun yung makikita natin dyan. Okay? No, so, i-modify muna natin yung ano pala, uh, a client para hindi mag-exit agad. Okay. So, ito yung state ng ating shared memory. Okay. So, ang gawin natin, uh, anong hangyari? Wala tayong isang tawag. So, pag hiram natin yung client, okay. tapos chinect natin yung IPCS. Ano ang mapapansin nyo ngayon? You will notice na meron ng 2 dito. Okay? Ibig sabihin yan, meron ng dalawang processes na naka-attach dyan. And those processes are actually yung servers at yung client. Okay? Malino ba yan? So, uh, so, that's one command na pwede nyo gamitin to test your code. Uh, okay? So, how do we know whether uh, this, uh, no, this shared memory are attached to a process. So we can use pmap tulad ng kanina. pmap, pero tingnan natin yung uh, Okay, so ito yung process address space ngayon ni, ni server.l. Okay, so mapansin na yun yung typical section. Then you have the libc shared libraries, the loader shared libraries and you will notice na meron na tayong uh, kasama na ng address space ng process na server yung shared memory ID na to okay? which is actually in hex okay? so yung hex na to yun yung magiging reference dito sa dito na kamap siya sa ano sa ito yung address ng ano ng memory area na yun and then uh, ito, uh, so you see, when we talk about pages, we'll discuss this later, pero at this point, this is the important part, okay? This is the shared memory ID na naka-attach dun sa address space ng process in this memory area, okay? Now, you can do the same for, uh, you can do the same for process, uh, for the client process. So you will notice also that ito sa client process meron din tayong a shared memory ID na nakamap dito pero ito yung sa vert dito nakamap sa virtual address space ng uh, client process pero they have the same shared memory ID so you should be in, they are sharing the same memory area you know yun? so when we i know when we terminate this uh so press any key Madi-detach siya. Simple, wala na yung process ano. Uh, okay. Makapansin nyo, since namatay na yung client, isang process na lang yung naka-attach, so nag exist pa siya. And then, when we terminate this, eventually, our <coughs> shared memory segment will be removed because we already performed the cleanup. Okay? Other questions about this? Okay, so, doon na tayo sa XOR. Ang XOR niyo ay ano, matrix multiplication. Okay. So, I will assume na uh, maalam kayo ng mag-program ng basic uh, matrix multiplication using uh, 2D arrays. Okay. So, I have here a reference, ano, a reference implementation for the answer. Okay. So, uh, okay, so, this is the contents of the directory. So, I have two processes here. 
uh, two programs, Jack A Elf and Jack B Elf. Uh, and then, uh, yung input natin dito ay, ito yan. So, as sabi ko, i-assume natin na isa lang yung input. These are the matrices, matrix A and matrix B. Okay? So, let's do a test run. Okay, so, ang gagawin ni, ni, ni program A, siya yung magre-read ng file na input na txt, siya yung mag-create ng memory segment, shared memory segment, tapos siya yung maglalagay dito doon sa shared memory segment. So, at this point, pag lumabas to, ibig sabihin, na-create na ni yung shared memory segment. So, we can now run uh, yung next process, okay, program B, and this is what we should get. So, sa program B, walang file reading na gagawin dyan. Ang may gagawin lang na file reading is si program A, i-read niya yung contents ng input.txt, ilalagay niya sa shared memory uh, area. Okay, malino ba yun? So, this is how the setup would look like. And, uh, tingnan natin yung IPCS, kung ano yung meron. Okay. So, sa IPCS, ang mapansin nyo dito, merong mga bagong shared memory segments na ano na nalagay okay so notice na meron dalawang process na naka-attach okay so dito makikita niyo yung may 8 8 tapos uh, meron 100 merong 60 tapos meron 100 okay para sa ano niyan so yung technique dito sa sa external is kailangan il ilagay niyo sa shared memory Although maraming approach to ito yung pinaka, pero ito yung straightforward implementation. Ilagay mo sa shared memory yung dimension ni RA, ilagay mo sa shared memory yung dimension ni RAB, tapos ilagay mo din sa memory sa shared memory yung dimensions ni ano ni dimension ah uh, yung contents ni ano uh, contents ni RAB. Okay para Tapos yung ano din, i-allocate na din ni A, si A na yung mag-allocate nung para sa ano, para sa solution matrix o sa product. Okay? So, yan. I-allocate yan ngayon yan. Okay? Para, this way, yun, ma-access ni process B yung shared memory segment. So, tingnan natin kung nakamap nga yan. Uh, PID of uh, A. So yan, makikita nyo ngayon na ito na yung mga shared memory ay shared memory okay, na kanaid natin sa si process A, nakamap siya kay process A, ito yung addresses dun sa virtual address space ni process A and dito naman sa kay process B, uh, same lang. Okay? So ito yung kanyang ID, ito yung Okay, malinaw ba yun? So, nakita niyo yung illustration dito. Okay. So, paano ka in-implemento? Uh, pwede kayo mag-define ng common.h. Okay. So, ito halimbawa, uh, uh, yung may key tayo. So, kailangan natin key para sa A, key para sa B, key para sa C, ito yung para sa mga matrices, and then key para sa dimension ni A, saka key para sa dimension ni B. Okay? So, ganun yung, uh, ganun yung mangyayari. Ito yung mga key. So, i-include nyo to both sa, ano, both sa, ano, sa, uh, uh, A and B. I-include nyo yan. Okay? So, that's uh, one, uh, that's one technique. And then, the next technique that uh, you need to, uh, you need to do is that, Normally, pag meron kayong two-dimensional array, meron kayong, ano, meron kayong int, uh, star, star, di ba? Para mag-define uh, ng two-dimensional array, that is bad pointer. Pero, dito sa XR na to, problematic kasi yung pag-access na yan pag sa shared memory. Okay? So, normally, in star lang, which is one-dimensional array, yung, ano, yung style. Okay? But, if you, uh, kung ang, ano, kung ang, pag access nyo sa matrix, let's say AI uh, row 
Paul, usually ito yung ano, diba, typical na pag-access ng matrix. Okay? So, kung ganyan yung pag-access nyo ng array, kailangan i-convert nyo yan to a index. Okay? Kasi, sa XR na to, para madali yung processing, uh, one-dimensional array yung uh, gagawin nyo, pero to convert nyo yung row column access to a single dimensional array access para mas madali para hindi magulo masyado yung ano yung uh, yung code niyo. Ay malinaw ba 'yan? Sa so, are, are there questions at this point? Basically ganun yung gagawin yung exercise. Kailan ko ulit? Ah, okay. This jack A. So, na-load na yung matrix and then jack B. So, ito ngayon yung result. And then, dapat sa PID of process uh, by jack A. And then, siya. Okay. Nandito siya, okay, 3, 3, okay, okay. yun yung mga uh, uh, shared memory ID, okay, so, yun, basically yung exercise nyo, and let's take a look at, ano, uh, IP, uh, IPCS, minus M, so, ito yung, ano, ito yung uh, shared memory uh, segments. Okay, so we have the IDs here. Okay. Basta yung mga may 666 dito, yun yung ano. Uh, yung mga may 666 na permission, sila yung ano. Uh, shared memory na naka-attach dun sa ating ano. Uh, processes. Okay, malino ba yan? So that is basically the lab. Sir, bali po, as the, uh, this, uh, sir, bali po magiging laman ng shared memory is row call ng A, elements ng A, correct? And row call ng B, and elements ng B, correct, correct. So, yan, yun yung tatlong ano, information na yun. And of course, yung matrix C, yung final matrix C. Okay? Kailangan ilagay mo rin sa shared memory yung, ano, yung final matrix C. Kasi siya yung ano eh, siya yung, uh, siya yung, uh, doon may store eh. So, kailangan yung matrix C, yung elements na matrix C ay nasa shared memory din dapat. Ay, malino ba yan? Pwede yung ipakita yung code, kaso pag give away na yun, pag pinagita ko yung code ko. So, you have to uh, uh, think about it for, uh, for yourself. So, Ah. Uh, so yan. Wala na ba tabatay na ba yung ano? Okay, nga. Si Jack yung result. Basta as ito yung mga 666. Okay. So yan. yung mga create natin na so yung mga 666 diyan siya yung mga ano na allocate natin na ano na uh, shared memory segment okay so yan so malinaw na so to summarize ang kailangan yung ilagay sa shared memory yung dimension ni A dimension ni B yung elements na A elements ni B tapos yung elements ni C Yung dimensions ng elements, yung dimension ni C, ay madi-derive nyo naman from the dimensions of A and B. Diba? So kahit hindi nyo na ilagay yung dimension ni C dun sa, ano, sa shared memory. Kasi makukuha mo na yan dun sa ano. So ang ginawa ko dito, pinaghiwalay ko yung ano. Kaya, kaya meron akong apat na, kung mapansin nyo dito, this is a solution, solution. No? Meron akong uh, limang, ano, limang, uh, shared segments. Okay? Kasi, uh, 
yun nga uh, nag-allocate ako ng ano nag-allocate ako ng uh, isang uh, ano to isang segment for the element so ito yung halimbawa ito yung contents no uh, yung dimension A dimension B ito yung matrix uh, matrix A matrix B tapos ito yung matrix C so at least meron akong limang segments na ano na inalfit. So actually wasteful yung style ko kasi 4 kilobytes yung isang ano, isang in, uh, kumbaga ano, anyway, paging kasi ito eh kasama to sa itinatawag na internal fragmentation, okay? Pero yun yung pinakamadaling paraan para mag-accomplish yung task in a programmatic way. Okay? Pwede na ba yan? So yeah, that's it for our Love discussion para at least walang confusion kung ano yung gagawin nyo. You can follow the exact format of the output here. Instead of using sleep, kasi aabangan nyo pa yung sleep eh. You can use get car para mag-pause yung process. And then, uh, yung clean up ito ay gagawin syempre sa ano. Yung clean up ay gagawin sa, uh, sa A, process A kasi nandun yung ano, yung... Uh, uh, hindi mag hindi mag hindi mag clean up unless uh, unless meron pang naka-attach na process dun sa shared memory segment na yun. Okay, so that will be all guys. So sana malinaw na yan. Okay, thanks for coming. Are there questions? Dala ba? Okay, bye everyone.